Okay. Welcome back to our DevNet course. So my name is Dennis Cadena. For today's activity, we will be using the Python. Okay, programming using Packet Tracer text editor. Okay, we will you be using the Packet Tracer editor to write a code of Python. Then the objective is to use the Packet Tracer to create and execute Python code. Then use text editor to create Python code. Then lastly, we will execute that Python code file. Then using the command prompt. Okay, so instruction. Okay, we will create a program that uh, converts temperature as well as to calculate the circle area and circumference. So moving on, let's open a packet tracer. Okay, we will just use a single uh, host PC. Okay, just open desktop and let's try text editor. So the first one is conversion. Let's try to convert uh, Celsius example to Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay. Let's try Celsius. So to do that, so let's write a code. Example is a uh, variable. Let's make it Celsius. Cell Celsius that represents Celsius is equals to okay. Let's have an integer value input and let's try row. row input since we are using the input for the new input you can use input or raw input for the Python R2 they're using raw input okay raw input and let's input okay. degree Celsius example. Okay. There you go. Then closing for the input, then for the integer value. Okay. Next is let's declare Fahrenheit. Okay. Is equals to let's convert the Fahrenheit to Celsius. Where in Celsius, okay, times 1.8, uh, uh, 1.8, okay, plus 32. What I do uh, from my experience uh, on the past food chain, uh, uh, what I know is 100 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 212. Uh, that's why we are uh, from 212 to convert that is we are just subtracting 32 then Fahrenheit okay 225 minus 32 then we will divide 1.8 that will be an exact value of uh, 100 okay. next okay let's display in the value okay print and let's use single quote Let's place percent that will be representing the degree Fahrenheit. Okay, percent one F for the degree Celsius. Okay, let's say is equal to okay the Fahrenheit value zero point one F okay, for the decimal place. Okay, of degree Fahrenheit. Okay, Fahren. Oh, I forgot the letter H. Fahrenheit. Then place single code. Okay. Then we will add a percent that will represent the Celsius. Okay. The Celsius and the Fahrenheit. Let's close it for the representation of the variable. Then, okay, the closing argument. So let's test this one if it works. Okay. Save it as a 
Uh, let's make it Celsius. Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay. Selfa. Okay. That PY. Okay. So where will be the files? Okay. The file will be on the command prompt. So if you don't know what are the commands, okay, you can see here the, the uh, list of executable command. Uh, we have here a Python. Okay. Now, if you want to do the directory, you can see here your selfa.py. Okay. To execute that, let's try Python. Selfa. Oh, we have forgot the PY. Okay, degree Celsius, 100. It should be 212. There you go. It's now uh, executing. Now, we have successfully execute a Python file. Okay. From using a text editor. Okay. Now, let's do another for the next. Okay. Oh, it's just a other way around just uh, interchange based from the formula let's move on the circle so that will be your probably your assignment okay how about the circle let's calculate for the area where equals to pi times r squared okay. then circumference is equals to pi 2 pi r okay Let's use the okay, command, okay, the text editor. Okay, so base that will be basing from the formula. Okay, let's do the same what uh, what we've done from the conversion. Okay, let's say that uh, let's say radius. Okay, let's the requirement is radius. Okay. To calculate that because the pi is uh, already uh, has a static value of 3.1416. Uh, let's set it to 3.14. Okay. So let's uh, input radius. Okay. Let's use r as our variable. And let's say I want an integer for the for the input. Uh, okay, integer then raw input. Okay, raw input. Then uh, we will. I want to add a display. Okay, for the user. Let's, let's say input radius. Okay, let's say it's circle. Radius. Okay. Colon. Then let's add the space. Then we will close the uh, raw input. Then close the integer. Okay. Uh, let's say pi is equals to 3.14. Okay. Then uh, let's now calculate based from the formula. So let's say area. Area now, or oh, area C. Let's sample area C. Of oh, area of circle is equals to pi. Okay, is from the formula times radius squared. So we're not using the math. Okay. Let's say r times r. Okay. That will be our R squared. Then let's calculate for the circle. Circumference. Okay. Circumference is equals to okay, two times pi times the radius. Okay. Then let's display. Use the print to display. Okay. Code. Uh, let's say the area, uh, area, area of circle, okay, is, let's place the percent, okay, 
0.1F okay. with a let's say circumference circumference of Let's place percent 0.1 F. Then that's it. Let's close. Then let's place percent. That will represent the area of C. Area C and the circumference. Okay, that's uh, the variable we've used for the calculation. Close then close. Right. Let's save this one. Save. Let's say the file name is circle dot py. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Let's try to execute from our command prompt directory. You now can see the circle dot py. Then execute Python circle that py let's input radius let's say 10 okay that's good okay the area of 10 if you calculate it is area of 10 times 10 is 100 times 3.14 that will be resulting to 314 okay. where in 10 times 3.14 that is 31.4 times 2 that 62.8 well, that's good Okay, we uh, execute the Python, okay, using Python command, using the text editor and execute it on the command prompt. So that's for the activity today. Thank you. So hopefully you have enjoyed this activity.